HR 6190, this is a bill that I honestly wish we did not have to consider today. Over the past several years, I have repeatedly asked the Food and Drug Administration, the Environmental Protection Agency, and even the White House, the President himself, for answers to questions that I and other members of the committee have as to why the administration has refused to grant a waiver to sell the existing stock of over-the-counter epinephrine inhalers. Only last summer, and because the committee was moving legislation at the time, did the Food and Drug Administration finally provide at least some sort of response, albeit one that was entirely unsatisfactory. Under the rules known as the Montreal Protocol, certain chemical propellants used in a number of medical and cosmetic devices were to be phased out over a number of years. The chlorofluorocarbon, CFC, used in the epinephrine inhalers, here is one of the ones that was one of those propellants. Knowing that the manufacturer of these over-the-counter inhalers, the manufacturer of these over-the-counter inhalers has worked on a replacement inhaler only to meet with stonewalling through the Food and Drug Administration and request for more studies into the device. Although the Food and Drug Administration claims they are awaiting an application from the company, the company counters that the Food and Drug Administration once again continues to move the goalposts. But regardless of the finger pointing, Mr. Speaker, and there is much of it surrounding this issue, the fact remains there is no viable alternative for the over-the-counter purchase by an asthmatic suffering from an acute emergency attack. Now, we've heard that a company is about to market a device, and indeed, there is one, a, a device available without a prescription, but it's behind the counter. In other words, if the pharmacy is open but the pharmacy is, is not there, you cannot purchase this device. I know this firsthand because it happened to me uh, one evening in the, while we were home on, uh, on one of the district work periods. The new product uses a nebulizer rather than a propellant. It's a little more complicated. In my experience, it's uh, a little more difficult to use and, and less effective, but nevertheless, it is available. But the cost differential is significant when compared with the old over-the-counter CFC propellant epinephrine inhaler. The committee and the Congress should be on the side of putting more available co products into the hands of patients and allow them to effectively manage their medical issues. Instead, opponents of this legislation hide behind false claims of safety, the safety and efficacy of epinephrine. And Mr. Speaker, I would point out that I've been an asthmatic my entire life. I have utilized rescue inhalers for a long time. Racemic epinephrine, the active pharmaceutical ingredient in an over-the-counter asthma inhaler, has been around for 60 years. There has not been a question of its safety and efficacy. If so, we know the FDA has the power to remove a drug or device that they think is unsafe or not effective. They have given their stamp of approval, approval to racemic epinephrine again and again over the last 60 years. There continue to be dozens of epinephrine-based treatments for asthma-related issues that are used by doctors and medical professionals. Although opponents of this legislation will claim that they are opposed to the bill because epinephrine is not safe, this claim is simply not true. There are currently over one million units of these inhalers sitting in a warehouse in California, not helping patients currently suffering from an asthma attack not available for a rescue treatment for someone who cannot get their breath. It's unconscionable to allow them to sit gathering dust when they could be used to provide relief to America's asthmatic patients. Moreover, the company is committed to donating any proceeds from the sale to charity to remove any possible profit motive from their request to sell these products. This is not about allowing a company to continue to sell their product. It's about not allowing a regulatory agency to unreasonably restrict the access of America's asthmatics to a useful product. I wish more companies would come forward with a viable over-the-counter asthma inhaler so that asthmatics could have more and more choices instead of that costly emergency room visit at 2 a.m. This bill is about allowing asthmatics to continue to get relief during an asthma attack to continue to have an emergency rescue inhaler available when they need it, when they deem that they need it, not when the administrator of the, FD, of the EPA says they need it, not when the administrator of the FDA says they need it. 
Members of Congress spend a lot of time talking about how much they care about the plight of patients and asthmatics in particular, and decrying the high cost of health care. Well, this bill returns, even if it's just for a limited time, this bill returns a safe, effective, and inexpensive treatment into the hands of patients suffering from asthma, one that has been in use for decades. For me, at least, the issue is clear. Let's side with patients on this issue. Let's stop this senseless war on asthmatics the administration has waged for the last three years. And I'll reserve the balance of my time.